Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Current Affairs MCQs. Let's start with previous day's practice question. The question was consider the following statements about particularly vulnerable tribal groups in India. 1. PVTJs live in 18 states and one union territory. 2. Stable or declining population is one of the criteria for determining PVTJ status. 3. There are 95 PVTJs officially notified in the country so far. 4. Irregular and Konda Reddy tribes included in the list of PVTGs. Which of the statements given above is or correct? One, two, and three. Two, three, and four. One, two, and four. Or one, three, and four. The correct answer is option C. One, two, and four. Prime Minister of India inaugurated PM PVTG Development Mission today, Jan Jatiya Gaurav Divas, that is Tribal Pride Day in Jharkhand. In 1975 there were 52 PVTGs and by 1993 the list had been expanded to 75 out of 705 scheduled tribes across 18 states and union territories hence statement 1 is correct PVTGs are characterized by pre agricultural level of technology stagnant or declining population extremely low literacy and subsistence level of economy hence statement 2 is correct According to the Ministry of Tribal Affairs India has 75 PVTGs hence statement 3 is not correct Konda Reddy tribes from Telangana and Irregular tribe from Telangana have been included in the list of PVTGs hence statement 4 is correct therefore option C is the correct answer let's start today's session first question is sometimes seen in the news the khun katti rights are related to which of the following tribes of India Kols Santhals Khons or Mundas. The correct answer is option D, Mundas. Recently, the Prime Minister announced he will go to the native village of tribal icon Birsa Munda on his birth anniversary and launch a welfare scheme for the community. The Munda Ulugan is one of the most prominent tribal revolts in the history of Indian independence. The Munda is a tribe based in Chota Nagpur of Jharkhand whose means of living was agriculture. The Mundas practiced khun katti system where the whole clan jointly owned the land fit for cultivation. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news the Arrow 3 missile system is jointly developed by United States of America and which of the following countries? Ukraine, Israel, France or United Kingdom. The correct answer is option B, Israel. Recently Israel confirmed that it used its Arrow 3 missile interceptor against Iran backed Houthi rebels. It is an exo atmospheric anti ballistic missile defense system for long range threat engagement. The missile was jointly developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and the Missile Defense Agency in the USA. It is designed to take out ballistic missiles while they are still outside of the atmosphere. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is Consider the following statements regarding the Global Tiger Recovery Program 2.0. 1. It was launched in 2020. 2. It was endorsed in the St. Petersburg Declaration. Which of the statements given above is all correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently as per the report submitted under the Global Tiger Recovery Program 2.0 overall tiger population increased 60%. It was launched in 2010 under the Global Tiger Initiative by the World Bank to save wild tigers. Hence his statement 1 is not correct. This initiative set up the ambitious target of reversing the rapid decline of wild tigers across their range and doubling their population numbers by 2022. It was endorsed in the St. Petersburg Declaration in 2010. which saw 13 tiger range countries committing to reverse the decline of this species population hence his statement 2 was correct the 13 tiger range countries are bangladesh bhutan cambodia china india indonesia lao pdr malaysia myanmar nepal russia thailand and vietnam therefore option b is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the vampire viruses one They are pathogens that latch onto their viruses in order to replicate themselves. Two, they emerge when a bacteriophage attaches to a soil-based virus. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, several vampire viruses have been discovered in the United States of America for the first time. The vampire viruses are the pathogens that latch onto other viruses to replicate themselves. Hence statement 1 is correct. 
They emerge when a bacteriophage attaches to a soil-based virus, utilizing its life for independent survival. Hence, statement 2 is correct. This viral relationship between two pathogens is called a satellite and a helper. The satellite is the infectious strand that relies on the helper for support through its life cycle. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, sometimes seen in the news, what is the IUCN status of the red sanders a flora species? Endangered, least concern, near threatened or vulnerable? The correct answer is option A, endangered. Recently, the Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change informed that India has been removed from review of significant trade for red sanders under Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. Red sanders is a flora species that are endemic to a distinct tract of forest in the eastern Ghats region of Andhra Pradesh. It usually grows in rocky, degraded and fallow lands with red soil and a hot and dry climate. CITES is an international agreement to which states and regional economic integration organizations adhere voluntarily. The IUCN status of the red sanders is endangered. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, Consider the following statements regarding the Portuguese coins in India. 1. The Portuguese issued coins in gold and silver only from Goa. 2. The gold and the silver coins had a seated or standing figure of St. Thomas. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, a farmer in North Goa's Nanoda Bamba village found 832 copper coins in a pot buried in the soil which were believed to be minted in Goa around the 16th or 17th century when it was under Portuguese rule. The Portuguese people issued coins in gold, copper and silver from Goa. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The gold coins were termed as cruzado or manual and were issued in the same size, value and weight as the pagodas or horns. The gold and the silver coins had a seated or standing figure of St. Thomas with the letters S and T on one side of the coin and the crowned arm of Portugal with the initials of the reigning monarch on the other side of the coin. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is, recently a new species of gecko named Cirtodactylus wearing tenses has been discovered from which of the following? Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram or Nagaland? The correct answer is option C, Mizoram. Recently, a team of scientists and researchers have discovered a new species of gecko endemic to Mizoram. The new species has been named Cirtodactylus wearing tenses after the town in Mizoram where it was found. The common name suggested for the new species is wearing tea bent toed gecko. The distinct feature of this new species is the number of femoral pores which distinguishes it from other members of the Cirtodactylus family. Therefore, Option C is the correct answer. Next question is, recently seen in the news, Dnieper River originates from which of the following? Mount Elbrus, Mount Kazbek, Mount Narodanaya or Valdai Hills? The correct answer is option D, Valdai Hills. Recently, Russia's military said that its forces had thwarted a Ukrainian attempt to forge a bridge ahead on the eastern bank of the Dnieper River. The Dnieper River is the fourth longest river in Europe. It originates in Russia in the low Valdai Hills west of Moscow. It runs a total length of 1,368 miles through western Russia, Belarus and Ukraine before emptying into the Black Sea. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the AINA dashboard for cities. 1. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs is the nodal ministry. 2. The dashboard will present the data submitted by the urban local bodies on the basis of indicators across three broad pillars namely political and administrative structure, finance and planning. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two? The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, the AINA dashboard for cities portal has been made live by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. MOHUA is the nodal ministry for its implementation. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It would serve as a tool for comparing similarly placed urban local bodies and promoting peer learning amongst DLBs. It aims to create a robust database of the key performance metrics of urban local bodies. The dashboard will present the data submitted by the ULBs on the basis of indicators across five broad pillars, 
namely political administrative structure, finance, planning, citizen-centric governance and delivery of basic services. Hence, the statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. The last question is, consider the following statements regarding the non-melanoma skin cancer. 1. It is mainly caused by the ultraviolet light. 2. It is more common in younger people. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, or neither 1 nor 2? The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, as per the World Health Organization, about 1 in every 3 deaths that take place from non-melanoma skin cancer is reportedly caused by working outdoors under the sun. Its main cause is ultraviolet light, which comes from the sun and is used in sunbeds. Hence, the statement 1 is correct. It is more common in older people, but younger people can also get it. Hence, the statement 2 is not correct. The main symptom of non-melanoma skin cancer is a growth or unusual patch on the skin, but it's most common in areas exposed to the sun, such as head, face and ears, neck and shoulders, etc. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. The question is, recently Mount St. Helens was seen in the news. It is located in which of the following countries? Canada, Indonesia, Chile or United States of America? Send the answer to this question in the comment below. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.